thank you sa pag-click ng aking video. Good day po sa lahat ng SSS members. Sa mga bagong viewers at napadaan lang, by the way, I'm Tita Eda. Welcome to my channel. Alam ko, kaya mo to klinik kasi gusto mong malaman kung ano na ang update sa SSS Condonation Program. Good news po at magsisimula na po ulit ang Condonation Program ni SSS. Para sa buong detalye, please watch the entire video. And please subscribe to my channel, like, comment, and share this video. Good morning. The COVID-19 pandemic posed unprecedented challenges around the world. In the Philippines, as part of the health risk, it brought the closure of businesses, unemployment, and other adverse effects to the economy. Here at the SSS, our contribution payment, member and housing loan payment collections from January to December 2020 amounted to $244.36 billion, an 8.8% .8 decline from the $267.91 billion collected in the same period in 2019. Prior to 2020, there was a steady increase in our collections. SSS contribution pay members from January to December 2020 also declined by 8.3% to $16.18 million from the $17.64 million recorded for the year 2019. It is important that contributions and loans are paid in the prescribed manner to the SSS as this enables members to avail of our programs. Contribution and loan payments are also used to fund benefit payouts, loan programs, investments, and other activities that would strengthen the SSS fund for its current and future members and their beneficiaries. This is why, under the Social Security Act of 2018 and the SSS Circulars, contributions and loans accrue penalties if not paid as prescribed. But given the circumstances we are faced with today, we do not want to add burden to those who are already encountering hardships, but rather help them get back on their feet. With that in mind, today we are launching four new pandemic relief and restructuring programs, which are the following. The Social Security Contribution Penalty Condonation Program, also called PRRP2, and under this program, qualified employers will be able to pay overdue SSS contribution free of penalties in full or installment for a period of 4 to 24 months, depending on the total amount of delinquency. This program is the month of March 2020 and onwards. It will be offered for six months starting November 2021. The Enhanced Installment Payment Program, also called PRRP3. This program will enable qualified employers to pay their past due SSS and employees compensation contributions in installment for a period of 9 months to 60 months, depending on the total amount of delinquency. And also, this will start sometime in November 2021. Now, the PRRP4, the Housing Loan Restructuring and Penalty Condemnation Program. Through this program, qualified SSS housing loan borrowers, successors in interest, and legal heirs may pay the outstanding principal, interest, and insurance dues, and legal expenses of their SSS housing loans in full within 90 calendar days from their receipt of the notice of approval of the application or pay 50% within 90 days from their receipt of the notice of approval and pay the remaining 50% in 12 equal monthly installments. Upon full payment, all unpaid penalties will be condoned. The PRRP 4 will be open for applications for three months starting on November 22, 2021 until February 21, 2022. Lastly, the short-term member loan penalty condonation program, also called PRRP-5. 
Under this program, all due and demandable arrears composed of the outstanding principal and interest of a member borrower's past due, salary, calamity, and or emergency loans, as well as loans under the Salary Loan Early Renewal Program and restructured loans under the Loan Restructuring Program will be consolidated. The consolidated loan may be settled through one-time full payment within 30 calendar days from the member borrower's receipt of the notice of approval or through paying 50% of the consolidated loan within 30 calendar days from receipt of the notice of approval and paying the remaining 50% in six equal monthly installments. Unpaid penalties will also be condoned upon full payment. The PRRP-5 will likewise be open for applications for three months from November 15, 2021 to February 14, 2022. In case some of you are wondering, the PRRP-1 is the July 2021 Contribution Payment Deadline Extension, which enabled regular employers nationwide to pay the said contribution until September 30, 2021 without incurring penalties. The original deadline was August 31, 2021. My colleagues and I will discuss the new PRRPs in detail as we move forward in this morning's event. As a final note, allow me to say that in trying times like this, people need the SSS and the Social Security Protection even more. We highly encourage our members and employers to take this opportunity to regain their good standing with us, avoid further accrual of penalties, and enable themselves and their employees to qualify for the benefit and loan programs that they need during this pandemic. Marami salamat po, and let's have a fruitful discussion today. Mabuting araw sa ating lahat. So, ayun na nga po ang good news guys marami po kasi nagtatanong no October kasi October nga po sinabi nung nakaraan ng, ng SSS uh, President CEO Aurora Ignacio na sabi nga daw po October pero yun nga po siguro they have come up with uh, the program kaya ngayon lang po talaga nila na implement so I hope po sa mga nagtatanong i-take advantage na po tong SSS Condonation Program 
So, I will have another um, continuation po ng discussion na ito in depth discussion na ito ng SSS para po sa mga nagtatanong pa kung paano gagawin, ano po yung application saan po gagawin ang mga uh, ang pag-apply nito pupunta pa sa branch or pwedeng online. So please watch my another upload po tungkol dito. So ayan mga guys if you find this video very helpful at nagustuhan mo itong video, please like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell para updated kayo sa lahat ng videos na aking i-upload. Thank you ulit sa pag-tune in nyo sa aking channel. Again, this is Tita Eda. If you have a questions and you want information, just visit Tita Eda's channel. Continue to be a blessing and stay safe.